Hello, this is Super 3 Boy from Mystic.com, and I'm going to teach you a little bit about materials today. Right now, I'm on the Mystic.com form. It's, the address is form.mystic.com. And in here, you can uh, post about whatever you want. We have several different topics about. You know, Paint.net, which is a image editing software. We have programming, and then we also have Blender. Um, you can ask the questions you want. Uh, you can post the renders, and it's just a nice little place. So when you're doing my tutorials, you know, just think of registering and posting your works. Um, and also an added bonus. Um, if you suggest a tutorial here, it usually has a higher priority than it would on YouTube. So, I have Blender open, and so I'm just going to go to that. We have our default cube in the center of the screen. And I'm going to go down here to the left of the toolbar at the bottom. I'm going to click on the sphere-looking thing. That's where our material options are. Now, we have, over here on the left, we have a preview of what the material is going to look like. And we have different options that we can set. So, right now, let me go over this preview section right here. When you make some changes on the right, it's going to show up over here, so like a preview, it's pretty self-explanatory. And so we can change the different objects we want to preview it on. So we can preview it on a plane, a sphere, cube, monkey face, all those, those things we can sort of preview it on. So right now since we're using a cube, we'll just select cube. And let's Let's go over this RGB right here, red and green. This is the different colorings um, that you set to the object. Right now it's set to 0.8 for, for each, and it gives you sort of this grayish color. So we can change these values from the sliders. Let's put the green down and the blue down all the way, and see we, we get this red color. And you can see it show up in the preview window and over here. So we can play with these sliders and get different colors. Um, we can put red and green together, we get yellow, we can put them all together, we get white, if we take them all the way, we get black, and if we put them sort of at the same place, we get this kind of gray here, this is also the same color, everything, um, so whatever color you wanted, let's say you wanted green, put this up, you can put it blue, or you can mix colors, or, or whatever you want. So, let's bring it back to the middle, make it sort of grayish. And, now, let's go over alpha right here. When you render it, which I'm going to do now by hitting F12, you see a cube, right here, just a regular cube, and... It's, it's solid, you can see it all, but with the alpha, that's the transparency, or the amount you can see an object. So if I was to set it all the way down to zero, I can hit F12, and the object is not visible. So you can play with this, let's say you wanted it to be a little bit ghosted, set it to half, about five, and hit F12 again, and you see the object kind of ghosted, you can half see it. So, let's go back to the editing window, window and change it all the way back to 1. Now, with these values here, we've been using the sliders. You can actually set it to exact values. Like, let's say I wanted to set it to exactly 0.5. You just put 0 0.5 by clicking this number right here. And then using my numpad or numbers at the top of your keyboard. Hitting enter. Change it all to 5. 0.5. And there we go. So when we want exact values, we can do this. 
And we can also set things like shadeless to have it, of course, have no shade. So it will be that exact color. There won't be any shading in there. So right now, if we were to render this with full capacity, it would look like this. But if we wanted to be exactly the spray color, no shading, then we select that, that, that option, hit F12. And it's exactly that color. No shading whatsoever. And that can come in handy sometimes. Okay, well, I think that ends this tutorial for now. And hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube. Okay, bye.